Hey, welcome back. Race Grays here. This is a special diecast review slash show off of uh, my trip to Kansas. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and set this on a, kind of on an angle here. Uh, these are all the cars I was able to get signed while I was down there. I had a couple more um, down there that I missed. Uh, I was close to Kane on pit road uh, after driver intros, and uh, he just uh, didn't have time uh, to hit to hit everyone over in that area. So, uh, you know, understandable. And um, I think Joey Logano was the other one I was real close uh, um, at the AAA stage, but uh, uh, didn't end up going to the side of the stage I was on. So, uh, overall, great weekend. You know, um, you know, again, I always got to appreciate drivers taking that time. You know, it's like if they miss you, it's ever, you know. Seeing people that'll scream and holler about them not getting their uh, their T-shirt signed or whatever, it's just like you know what they you know they they already did this to come out here and sign some autographs. So if they accidentally miss you, don't throw a fit. You know they're still they're still doing nice things for fans. So appreciate that much of it. But uh, anyway, um, first along the list, I was able to get AJ Almendinger's. Uh, he had an appearance down in the Gatorade Victory Lane uh, before the race with uh, Chris Busher because of the KC Masterpiece 400 uh, sponsoring of the race. So able to get him to sign his uh, rookie Red Bull car. Uh, Matt Di Benedetto or Di Burrito, um, got that one signed down in the pit area. Uh, not the hot pass, but there's a fan area where uh, I think it was right before qualifying. He and Landon Castle were coming up, and uh, I was able to get both of these signed. I had uh, that one's in black Sharpie. It's a little harder to see, but um, I had them both in my bag in a, in an envelope, uh, like a old, like a bubble wrap postage envelope so that way I could get to them quicker and uh so I, I had that one uh, there and I was able to get a you know decent autograph from both of them and so it was kind of nice uh this one I got from Kevin Harvick on his uh 2016 Kansas win so it was kind of I was at that race so I always like to get that signed so I brought it along and uh I saw Kevin uh he was it was after he came out of the media center after winning the poll uh, he was walking back out towards uh, towards the haulers, and um, was able to get uh, get a picture and, and an autograph on that. So, and then uh, these two Kyle Bushes. Um, this was at a appearance at the Toyota stage where uh, really crowded and uh, not not something I want to do a couple a few more times. Uh, very crowded. People were kind of pushing, shoving, and they were uh, you know it was a little more of a crazy one, but. Uh, it was still great. I mean, there's there's always going to be some of them dumber people that are out there, and you know, they they didn't get the free hat thrown to them, so they throw a tantrum, and they're grown adults. So, unfortunately, those people still exist. Where you know they they don't get the the hat they wanted to catch, and they throw a fit and just scream and holler and throw an absolute tantrum. It was kind of kind of weird to to see, but uh, yeah, um, he signed those on the hood instead of on the windshield. Um, Black doesn't show up on the windshield, so I don't know if that was in you know just something that's easier to to sign and see, or or if it's just uh, you know time wise, it's probably easier to hit the hood. But uh, you know, again, never I, I would prefer it silver on the hood. I had a silver sharpie, but again, I get it. You know, there's a lot of people there, and as I said, they were all screaming and hollering, and a bunch of them were you know acting like a bunch of children that were 50 years old. So um, you know, again, never gonna complain about it. He took the time out of his day and came out and. And, uh, you know, always happy with it. I'm never going to complain. Um, you know, again, it's one of those, the, pre the preference is one spot, but you know what? Heck, I'm happy with it. So I'm never going to uh, complain about it. So I was able to get his all-star and uh, Indy, or the Brickyard 400 uh, Elite signed. So it was just kind of a fun trip overall, but um, it, was a, it was a really fun time down there in Kansas. They do Kansas does a really great job with uh, giving the, the options. You know, we went down... Uh, fan pass is about 15 bucks on Friday, and we were able to get down there for qualifying and uh, watch the inspection. There's a whole concourse area on the inside um, where you can just watch them come from the garage area, and there's holes in the fence so that uh, if drivers want to come and sign some stuff, they can. Um, I didn't have any other die casts, but there were, I mean, David Reagan went by, Chris Buescher went by, Austin and Ty Dillon, both very good at signing. Um, they're, they're, you know, when they're not... Uh, they're not going to walk away from you or anything. They're they're really nice guys. So uh, really, really kind of a neat experience to be down there because, you know, there's uh, I think we saw Bubba. He didn't really uh, have any interest in it. He just kind of would uh, try to hide and walk around the haulers, which, again, he's got a job to do. So, you know, again, never going to complain about it. If the driver was willing to take their time, you'd always just appreciate it. But, uh, you know, it's like someone would be screaming and hollering for an autograph and the driver would walk the other way and they'd sit there and cuss him out and call him a jerk and everything. And it's just, yeah, you know. Some of the, some of them people got to calm down a little bit. You you know if they're willing and they have time, great. If not, just try again later. It's not uh, 
it's not the end of the world. So when uh, when people start going berserk and throwing fits and hollering and cussing people out or cussing drivers out for that, it's it, I can see where the drivers would get a little fed up with it because it's it's a tad ridiculous for some of it. But uh, yeah, my Kansas haul was pretty good. Uh, you know, had a couple close opportunities. I've I've been big Kane fan for years, so I just missed him. I'm gonna have I'm gonna get get an autograph on one of the cars sooner or later. I've got some that uh. I bought them from people signed. They already had them signed, and I don't buy them signed on purpose. I just if the car is signed or not doesn't affect how much I'm going to pay for it. But um, uh, hey, so I bought a few autograph, but I want to get one of them, one on my own. I want to be able to get the picture and everything. So um, you know, it's just kind of one thing. I'll get there at some point. Just got to be patient, and that's how it works. But uh, yeah, Kansas Hall was great. The racing was great. Um, stage one and two are pretty boring, but after that, it really picked up and. I thought Larson had a good shot to win the race, but uh, Kyle, Kevin Harvick's just too fast. After that other yellow came out, Kevin Harvick got back out in front, and it was uh, he was gone. Um, so Kevin Harvick's going to be tough to beat. He's probably going to win again this next week. At, maybe not the All-Star race, but Coke 600. I'm, I'm picking Harvick again. I don't see how anyone's going to compete with him. He's just way too fast. So um, it was really fun to see. So uh, if any of anybody out there is uh, close to Kansas and hasn't or hasn't been there and has been looking to, uh, the night race was uh, really awesome. They do a great job. The seating's awesome. Uh, the one big downfall to the October race is, yes, it's in the chase. That's a bonus. The downside is chase means the appearances are going to be a little less, a little more focused. And also it's on Sunday afternoon. And it's usually about 95 and sunny right in your face. So it'll kind of heat you up in the grandstands where the night race, it was probably about 80 degrees and no sun and a little bit of wind. But, you know, just really nice night to be up in the stands and you didn't, you wasn't uncomfortable at all. The heat was fine. You know, temp was fine. Wind was fine. Did plenty of space as far as the, uh, the way that they have their seating set up now where they took out every other row to put in these countertop type things in front of you to set your drinks on or your phone or some other stuff out in front of you so um i was able to have my phone out with a leaderboard but um you know overall kansas if you've never been there they do an amazing job i was out of the track and parking lot after the race in about 10 minutes by the time i got to my car and started it to the time i got out of the parking lot and back on the road it was only about 10 minutes so they do a fantastic job with their traffic flow they do an amazing job with the seating Concessions are a little overpriced as usual, but they let you pack in and bring all the stuff you want. You want pop, you want beer, you want, you know, bring in some snacks. You can bring all that stuff in the cooler. So, again, very reasonable. A++ to Kansas Speedway. Um, they did a fantastic job. I would love to see them just do all their races at night. Their weather is just better. I mean, their night weather is it's beautiful. It's about 80 degrees. Um, the humidity goes down. It's just, it's beautiful weather at night. I'd love to see them race it there Saturday night in the chase because it's, I mean, it's, it's a great time for the, right, in the grandstands, you know, when you're uncomfortable and you're hot and really sweaty and the sun's beating on you, you can still enjoy the race, but it's definitely nicer at night. So, uh, that's kind of my Kansas throw or review of all, uh, going to the race and what I got signed and kind of just showing it off. But, um, I guess the other one I didn't even, I don't have it here. Uh, my sister was also with me, and she has a Ryan Blaney uh, first win die cast that she was able to get signed because he was in the media center uh, 